Andrew, take me way back. How did you get started in paddling? Um, I got started in paddling through my parents um, in the Nanahill Outdoor Center on the Nanahill River, which is actually not too far from here. Um, and I mean, it was kind of one of those things like you look back on it and it was almost like, how could I not? But, um, you know, I kind of at the same time, it's like I had to make that choice. And my parents made it really easy. You know, like I would get off the bus and I started out rafting and ducking and all that kind of stuff. And a bunch of friends, we would get off the bus every day. We'd go to get a ducky and we'd go up to Nanahilla Falls and go through. You know, and once that kind of starts as a young person, it's only a matter of time before you get into a kayak and take it from there, you know, so. Right. The reason we're in town is uh, it just so happens we're here for the green race. And uh, when did you start racing that? Uh, I've been racing the green race since 2006, um, which I actually got into a little bit late. I would have liked to have started a little sooner, but for whatever reason, I was never in town. And um, then we moved here to Asheville about six years ago, and then I didn't really have an excuse after that. <laughs> <laughs> and how'd you do? You've done pretty well there. Yeah, I've done pretty well. I've come in, I've come in second. I've won a couple times, and then one year I crashed really hard, and um, I still did all right, but I definitely wasn't in the top few. <laughs> right. We first met, we, I was in Graz and you were in Graz for the Worlds there. Um, and you're at the time you were a freestyle athlete. What, how did you transitioned or how, like now you're an ex, you know, whatever <laughs> some people would call an extreme racer. It's like, how did that come about? Um, you know, it, it's kind of funny. Like, uh, I, th I think it happens with a lot of competitive sports that, um, people like to put people in categories like that they only do this or they only do that and I mean all along I've always enjoyed racing and I think more than anything now that all of a sudden extreme racing in particular has become much more of a forefront and people are just noticing it more and so they're noticing results and you're you're hearing about it a lot more um, and in the past you know that like the green race for example has been going on 15 years and people have been racing it a lot and you just didn't really hear of it outside of very small circles and so i actually think that it's more of a function of that that racing has gotten on more of a national level now so there's just a little more exposure the guy i met yesterday when i was walking up on the shore and he was i think for all i mean he was about as intermediate as you get for a guy running the green race and yeah. I, he's like yeah this is my 50th time down i, I yeah. did all right <laughs> it's like how many times do you go down that river in preparation for the race um you know at, at this point uh I've been paddling the green for a really long time. Um, there definitely are some new lines that I, I figure out. Um, I don't know. I probably, I probably get a pretty easily, I don't know, 80 to 100 runs a year on the green just because it's my home river and it runs all the time, um, you know. And I kind of try to keep it pretty even, you know, in the month before the green race. I'm not really trying to spike it necessarily, but I'm out there like five times a week, so. Yeah, that's 20, 30 runs the month beforehand. What are you, uh, what are you doing now? And I've also um, recently started working a little more directly with uh, Dagger Kayaks um, as the as the team manager there. Cool. I often <laughs> joke once you're the buffer between between athletes and and management, but <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, and it goes, you know, communicating to the team what you know what Dagger as well what they're looking for um, as far as yeah, just what it means to represent Dagger and directions they're going in marketing wise and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, hey, I want to wish you well and uh, let you go on with your day. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks so much for Great. coming. Appreciate it.